In this video, we're going to take a look at the Fountain Pen Revolution Muffed. Let's jump straight to the end with my thoughts on this pen. I find this pen, especially considering this is a freebie they send you, to be a fairly good pen to use. It does sometimes have some flow issues you're going to see in this writing, but I'm going to blame it much more on this ink than I am on the pen. This pen, when I've used it with other inks, has not experienced the flow issues that you see in this writing. It seems to not dry up, but have moments that are far too wet. It's, that's not burping, that's just too much flow happening. And ignoring the ink part of it, when I've used this with other inks, it performed very well. It's got some feedback, which I do find a bit enjoyable while I'm using it. It's not uncomfortable in my hand. It doesn't cause any kind of cramping as an issue. When you see me having issues moving my hand around, that's because ink just keeps getting all over my hand from it coming out of the nib on this pen. Watch the ink review and you'll understand that sort of an issue. So just looking at the pen, I think this is a very good pen. In fact, this is probably one of those pens that I wouldn't mind having quite a few of because I can actually see having use for them, especially with so many samples. It's nice sometimes to just be able to dump the end of a sample into an eyedropper and use it up, which is frequently what I will use this pen for. Now that we know how I feel about the Fountain Pen Revolution Muffed, let's see how I got to that opinion, starting with the unboxing. The Fountain Pen Revolution Muffed came without a box, but in bubble wrap in a box with other bubble wrapped pens. Staying true to how Fountain Pen Revolution does things, it doesn't come in any packaging. And with it being a freebie that gets added on, just a little bit of bubble wrap is absolutely perfect for this pen. With the pen out of the box, we need to get to the nib. And as long as it doesn't take 20 turns to uncap a pen, I'm generally okay. But how many turns does it take to uncap this pen? The Fountain Pen Revolution Muffed takes one and a half turns to uncap. I appreciate the fact that it takes only one and a half turns to uncap. That is really right where I'd like it to be, and it is there. It doesn't have any kind of an issue drying out being left, as has become the habit I ink the pen up, you know, five to seven days before I'm going to use it for the writing, just to see how it does, how the cap performs. And with only one and a half turns, it's more than enough to keep the nib wet. This gets us to the nib. This pen has a steel fine nib. This nib hasn't been replaced with any of the other Fountain Pen Revolution nibs. I didn't see a need to do that. But I do think that this one writes fairly nicely. It looks kind of nice. It's not just plain and there. So I give them, again, bonus points for the fact that their nib there isn't just plain. It's got a little bit of decoration. If you enjoy videos like this, then be sure to hit the subscribe button. Now, let's ink this pen up. The Fountain Pen Revolution Muffed is a eyedropper fill fountain pen and holds approximately two milliliters of ink. Being an eyedropper, it holds a fair amount of ink, with about two to two and a half mils of ink being held. It's quite a bit, really. And, you know, depending on where you purchase your samples, you could be putting the whole thing into this pen and really getting a fairly good writing experience. I think this pen writes pretty wet, and it really does burn through the ink, which you can be surprised after just two pages of writing how little ink can be left in this pen. 
as a habit, I don't normally post my pens, but some people prefer to post their pens, and some pens need to be posted in order to be used comfortably. This pen does post, it posts securely. It is a thin pen, which makes me want to post it while using it. And I do typically post this pen while using it. I also find that the thin section makes me hold it way back, which makes it seem like it would be a shorter pen. Now, if I held it like a human being, it would be long enough, but that thin section chases my fingers back to get a wider area, which makes me want to post it. Luckily, it posts securely and neatly. Now, the important part, the writing sample. Now, as I use the pen more frequently, because at this point I've used this pen probably 15, 20 times, and I never found anything about it that made me not want to use it. I would use this pen and was always very happy for the fact that it was included free with purchase from Fountain Pen Revolution. And they even give you a discount to follow up your purchase with them, which is a very nice thing for them to do. It has some feedback, but it is not overly feedbacky. It feels a little bit like a pencil underneath regular copy paper in its feedback. So there's some, you definitely know you're writing. You can apply a little pressure if you need. I don't. The nib did handle it when I did it sometimes. I would like it to be just a little bit longer, but that's a thing that for me, I don't want to have to post my pens. I have to post this pen to really use it comfortably, which I don't know about that personally. It's, you know, what are you going to do? Sometimes you just have to. But the thing that really stands out to me looking at this pen is how incredibly clear it is. It's, I wish other manufacturers that made demonstrators made them as clear as this pen. Now, there's no inner seal inside the cap, and it didn't have any kind of an issue. So they can definitely make them this clear without having any kind of a problem for it. Now for something a bit more standard in comparing writing size. I use Namiki Blue to do this. Here's how it compares to a Yovo Extra Fine on the left, a medium on the right, in the center. Ah! While I don't see any kind of real, uh, indication of the nib size, it tends to write like a fine for me. And you can squeeze out a little bit of tone or line variation on it. It does fairly good for that. And again, I kind of like using it. But how does the writing size of this nib compare to the other nibs I've used? Looking at the writing of a Fountain Pen Revolution Muffed, here it is next to a Noodler's Nib Creeper, a D-Like Alpha with a medium nib, a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium nib, a Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya with the Fountain Pen Revolution Flex nib on it, and a Noodler's Ahab with their Flex nib.
So it isn't a review without some size comparison. Here it is capped. Here it is uncapped. And here it is posted. The only real negative thing I can say is it is a smaller pen, but there are some smaller pens that I enjoy. But if you don't like smaller pens, this probably isn't one that you yourself will enjoy for that. I think how close it is to a regular clicky pen makes it a good transition for people wanting to try out fountain pens. Let's clean this pen now that it's dirty. Be sure to check out the next pen review video where we take a look at the Mr. Pen Chaplin's Tankard. If you want to be able to support not just my channel, but any reviewer, then when you make a purchase, be sure to tell that retailer where you heard about it. Thanks for watching.